Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to do an example with flipping three coins. So let's say we have three coins and we flip them independently. So how can the three coins end up? They can end up with heads or tails, and when you have three of them, these are the eight possible outcomes that you can have, eight possible results. You could have heads, head, heads, 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 tails, heads, tail, heads, heads, tail, tails, tail, heads, heads, tail, heads, tails, tail, tail, heads, and tail, tail, tail. Wow, that's a mouthful. Now, what is the probability that any of those outcomes will come out? And of course, the probability is equal to 1, because this is the total sample space. These are the only possibilities, and so the probability of all those possibilities, of any of those possibilities occurring, is equal to 1. So the probability of the sample space, and that's, of course, always the definition of probability, that always will be 1. Now, let's say we have four events. Event A is that you end up with three heads. Event B, two heads, one tail. Event C, one head, two tails, event D, three tails. What is the probability that these events will occur? Well, in this case, we only have one case out of eight that you can have three heads, so therefore the probability for A would be one out of eight. And likewise, for D, since there's only one possibility of getting all three tail, that means one out of eight possibilities, that means probability is one out of eight. What about the probability of B and the probability of C. Well, for B, we need two heads and one tail. So two heads, one tail, so this would belong to B. Two heads, one tail, this would belong to B. Two heads, one tail, belongs to B. And that's it, there's no other possibility. So notice, there are three elements in the event B we have one there, we have one there, we have one there. Three, three possible outcomes out of eight, so therefore the probability would be three out of eight. Okay, what about C? One head and two tails. Well, let's see here. One head, two tails, right here, that would be C. One head, two tails, C. One head, two tails, C. So there's three possibilities here as well. Three outcomes out of eight, so therefore the probability that C will occur is 3 out of 8. Now, since that represents all possible outcomes, hopefully that will add up to 1. So 1 8 plus 3 8 plus 3 8 plus 1 8. If you add them all up, that's 8 over 8. So that represents the entire sample space. Elements A, B, C, and D, I should say events A, B, C, and D together add up to the whole sample space. And so there's a, a quick example of how we deal with events, sample spaces, and the probability function. Of course, that seems pretty straightforward. What do we do with more complicated problems? Well, for that, you'll have to say and watch some more videos because we'll show you some more complicated examples in the next several videos.